Squared Circle Boxing here with Junior Witter. How are you going, Junior? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, Long Ingalls fighter in your career. Yeah. yeah. Um, what did you get out of that? <laughs> 22 years. 22 years I was in that Ingalls gym. Uh, two British titles, Commonwealth title, two European titles, international title, and two versions of a world title, including the WBC. And you studied under the great Brendan Ingle. He must have been devastated for the loss when he died. Yeah, um, it hit us all hard, very hard. Um, you can ask John, it's, it's one of those things. He was such an instrumental person within the lives of his fighters, not just within the boxing lives, but in our normal lives, our everyday lives, that um, it's, it's greatly missed. Yeah, I had the pleasure of meeting him a couple of times and he made an impact straight away, he's a diamond bloke. So, um, We're from Nottingham, so our fighter is Lee Wood. Ah yes, uh, He's about to take the next round in the Golden Contract Tournament. Uh, what do you think is going to happen there? Um, I think he'll get through. Um, for me, Lee Wood is the most talented fighter of the Ingle style to come through that gym since me. Um, he's moved on now, he's, he's, he's training at a different gym, different set of trainers, but his talent's always been there. He just never got the success and the hype he should have done years ago. Yeah. And I felt for him in that respect, yeah, you know I mean, because I, I knew what it was like to suffer and go through and not be given the recognition for how good he really is. You know I mean, he boxed for years and then he had one major fight, which he didn't come through, but he should have had another long before he, he did. But now he's in a position where he should come through. Um, I expect him to get to the final. I expect him. He's got a very good chance of winning this competition. Um, and I wish him all the best. And I want him to do it. Very good. Right, well, we're ready today at Steffi Bull's gym. So <laughs> let's have a prediction. What's uh, what's going to happen uh, next week then? Especially with Terry Harper. Um, I think Terry's going to come out and she's going to box her head off. Um, it's it's a hard fight. She's boxing a, a, quant a quality comp accomplished champion. Um, but Terry's a special talent. She's got good movement, she's got hand, good hand speed, she's got good power. She doesn't knock everybody out. No, she's not that sort of power, but it's good solid power. And it's power that gets respect. And I think she's she's fit, she's worked hard. I've seen her in some of the training sessions. She's, she's put the work in. So therefore, I expect to come out, box well, and get the win. And she is uh, the youngest world ch female world champion. So she has got youth on her side as well. Yeah, she, she, she definitely has. Um, She's a fit, she, her mind's right, she seems to be switched on and I haven't seen anything in, in the training what I've seen where I think there's a there's a flaw here, there's a flaw there. Yeah. We all know the are flaws of everybody's personalities, styles and abilities but she's a good all-round boxer and I think she's a good talent and I think she's one to come through this one. Right, Junior Witter, thank you very much for talking to Squared Circle Boxing. No problem, thanks again.